Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Four years ago, on June 18, 2006, one of our jewels from our community, Chanel Petro Nixon, left out of here on Father's Day to look for a job in Appleby. Chanel Petro Nixon never made it to Applebee's, nor did she make it back home. Chanel Petro Nixon was found in front of 212 Kingston Avenue in a garbage bag. Four years later, we still have not found the killer of this precious jewel of our community. Chanel Petro Nixon was a straight A honest student in our community. Chanel Petro Nixon could have been everything that our society says that we can aspire to be. She could have been a lawyer, a doctor, a judge, a pharmacist, a physicist, an astronaut, anything she would be able to attain in her life. Her life was brutally cut short by some individual or individuals. And four years later today, we are still here as a community calling for justice for the Nixon family. Not only calling for justice for the Nixon family, but we're also calling for closure for the Nixon family. Because somewhere amongst us is a murderer. And we should not be able to continue to have to reside in a community worrying about murderers killing our children. So we're here in this community again, and we will continue to be here as long as we have to be here to get justice for Chanel Petro Nixon and closure for the Nixon family. At this time, we will have a prayer by Mother Cheryl Anthony, pastor of Judah International Christian Center. Can I ask you just to join hands? We're a family, we're a community, we're connected. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you, we praise you, we bless you, and we magnify your name. God, we lift you on high, and we thank you that you are the God that sits high and looks low, and you hold all power in your hands. Father, we come to you. This is another Saturday in the month of June that we come to you asking for your guidance, asking you to help us. Father, I lift up on this morning Lucita and Gavin and the, the, the Nixon family. Father, we know that only you know the time that they spend, the hours, the days of their hearts being broken and their spirits not being whole. Father, we'd ask in the name of your son that as we walk and as we march, that we are marching, God, we, we pray for the last time, that this is the last, the last Saturday that we've got to come out and, 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 and gather in, 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 in this kind of way. God, we want to come together with resolution. We want to come together that there would be resolve about what happened to Chanel. And so, Father, we'd ask that you would protect us in our community, that you would protect our children, that they would know that it's all right to be outside and play and walk through the community, that it's all right to aspire to be all of the things that you purposed and planned for them to be. And so, Father, we'd ask that you would continue to help us Yes, that you would give us the strength, that yes, you would give us the courage, and God, that we will never forget and we will never stop until we find the person, the perpetrators, the murderers who have done this 
to our precious baby. So Father, as we walk on this morning, we'd ask that you would walk with us, that you would go before us, that your angels would be encamped around us, and that we would arrive at the place knowing that you are everywhere and that your spirit hovers over Kingston Avenue. God, we thank you, we praise you, and we bless you. In the name of your son, Jesus, amen. 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 We've been joined by individuals from the community. We've been joined by family members. We've been joined by friends. We've been joined by parishioners from various institutions of faith. But we also have been joined by the district attorney of Kings County, who has been working closely with the family in finding resolve in dealing with this case. And at this time, I would like to call forth the district attorney of Kings County. Mr. Charles Hines. I come here each year and, and meet with the Nixon family to reaffirm my absolute commitment that as long as I'm alive, as long as I have breath in my body, we will find the bump who destroyed this young child. And that person will go to prison as long as we can get them. So I look forward to working with you again. I, I hope, as the pastor said, it's the last time we're going to have to do this. God bless you. Thank you. Also, we have been joined and we've been working together for so long in finding a solution to this heinous crime is the president of the 77th Precinct Community Council, Mr. James Caldwell. Mr. James Caldwell. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just simply want to say, you know, we certainly want to thank Reverend Robinson and uh, truly our hearts, well, our hearts and prayers goes out to, to the Nixon family. But also, I might add, uh, the officers at the 77th Precinct, ever since they discovered uh, uh, their daughter four years ago, they have really taken this very personal. Uh, in fact, they have worked with the family about doing fundraisers with them, about playing basketball. We talk to our detectives all the time, and they're working very hard trying to find out what goes on. But as you all know also, a lot of times in our community, uh, people don't talk. People won't let nobody know what's going on, so they put this heavy burden on the police department, on the, which is the 77 precinct, and also the DA's office. So, if nothing else, you know, that we take away from this, we as a community have to start talking when we know that things are going on in our community. Because even somebody knows about this, but they just haven't came forth and talked. But one thing we do know, God already knows who's going. Yes. And we know that the DA, working along with the police, they going to solve this case. And you're going to be, you know, and then you're going to find that it was so close to home. Somebody seen it, but didn't nobody say nothing. So remember, when you see some, say something. Because if you don't, it will come right to your door also. You know, uh, when Chanel Petra Nixon went missing, her mother, Lucida, thought that she had to wait 24 hours to report her child missing. According to the New York City Police Department and State of the Law, usually people think that you have to wait 24 hours before you report something missing, someone missing. And this is from the New York City uh, Police Department's Detectives Bureau that was picked up a few years ago when we were studying the case. It was a frequently asked question on how long do I have to wait to report someone missing. And it clearly states that no set, no set amount of time must elapse before you report someone missing. It says be guided by common sense and specific circumstances. In certain cases, if the missing individual is a child, a senior citizen, senile, mentally or physically impaired, an immediate search will be conducted. Today we're calling on the New York City Police Department, the Mayor's Office, the New York City Council, to put an information campaign together, to let people know that when their children go missing, they can report them missing right away. No one should have to wait and sit all night in anxiety and have to figure out if their child is coming home. 
It says here that a search should be conducted immediately, and a search was not conducted immediately. Sometimes in some communities, you have different responses. Well, we want to make sure that every community gets the same response all over this city. At this time, we will have some remarks from one of the family members of Chanel Petro Nixon, and then we're going to go forward and uh, move forward for our rally. Uh, here we go again, one more year, but I still have the faith that very soon this will be resolved. I want to thank everybody for coming out and for supporting us for the past four years. And it makes me feel good that you're still on my side, that you are supporting me, that I am loved by my community. And I just pray that you'll continue to keep us in, in your prayer, that we will continue to be strong and we will continue to stand, you know, keep on standing. Thank you again for coming out. At this time, we will proceed. Does anyone want to do the same? Anybody has anything else they want to say? Any family, friends? At this time, we will begin to proceed down Fulton Street to uh, Kingston Avenue, um, where we will be marching up Kingston Avenue and we will be going to then we will have a prayer vigil. So at this time I call on you to come with us, those of you can. We thank you and God bless you. We want to thank Mr. Hines for taking his time for coming. We want to thank Mr. Caldwell for taking his time for coming. We want to thank all of you for being here with us as a community because only as a community can we resolve this issue. Excuse me, what happened on Kingston Avenue? You ready? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on.